In today's video, we're gonna create a fun, quick and easy morphing effect in a few simple steps. Let's get it. What's up, what's up, it's Alana, and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to create dope videos, consider subscribing and clicking the alert icon to be notified when new content is available. So let's dive into how I created this morphing effect. There are various different ways how you can go about recording your videos for this morphing effect. So what I did in the intro was there was one continuous shot or you can do several different clips and all tie them together. The most important thing is you wanna put your camera on the tripod because it's going to make it a lot easier in post so that you can tie all the clips together. In order to create this effect, you need some sort of subject. It can be a person, be an object, really doesn't matter. And you can be as creative as you want to be. So let me show you how I use my cameras to create another morphing effect like this. So we're going to be using Final Cut Pro for this tutorial and I've already have my footage laid out on the timeline and so the first thing that you want to do is we're going to head over to the transitions panel and we're going to look for flow. We're going to choose flow and then we're going to take that and drag it between the first two clips and that's going to create our first transition. We're going to create click on create transition and we're gonna do this process over and over until we've accomplished all of the various clips that we have laid out on this timeline. So the next thing we want to do is trim down the footage to about three seconds. And we're gonna do that for each of the clips that we have laid out on the timeline. So the reason why I didn't do one continuous shot for this particular effect is it took some time to put the lenses on the camera as well as to do the entire build out for the rig in the last shot. Another important thing that you want to be sure is that you allow time for the system to actually render out the video because otherwise you're not gonna be able to see the effect as you intended. Now let's highlight all of the clips on the timeline and we're gonna right click so we can create a compound clip. This allows us to stay organized and to create one video file that we can kind of work with. So once we've done this, we're going to play it back and you can see the morphing effect take place. So now we're gonna make a direct copy of this clip and drag it onto to the timeline to the right side. For this instance, I'm going to duplicate my footage three times because I want it to be a certain length. Once you have duplicated your compound clip several times, we're gonna go back to the transitions effect and look for flow again, and then drag that between the two clips. And then we're also gonna drag that to the third clip as well, between the second and the third clip as well. So now we're gonna highlight all of the clips again, and we're going to right click, and so we can create another compound clip. Give it a name, whatever you like, it doesn't really matter, something that you remember what it is. So once you've done that, now we're going to kind of play it back so we can see it. And what this allows you to do is because you have all of your clips organized in one single file, now you can add other effects on it without having to mess with the timeline or trying to adjust things back and forth. It's nice and smooth. So this looks really good. It's looping over and over just how we intend it. And I think this makes a pretty good effect. So the last thing we're going to do is head back over to the effects panel and we're going to go down to the bottom and search for handheld, drag that over to the timeline onto the clip. And what this allows you to do is add some movement to the actual footage to make it look like it's handheld. And it's just another effect. You can do any types of other effects as you like, but this is something that I wanted to do. I think that it look really cool. With this effect, you can create some crazy videos. And if you've used this before, please leave a comment down below. And if you're thinking about using it, drop me a note as well. Now, if you found value in this video, please do give me a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Now, if you're new to videography or new to making videos and you want to learn more, check out this playlist right here. Like always, stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.